Don't. Don't. There we go. All right. Threat neutralized. Good job. Thank you. What is poppin' people? I'm going to say that a second time because my intros keep getting cut off for some reason. What is poppin' people? Um, I feel like I don't actually have like an, a real intro. Uh, I just kind of say whatever. But what's up? All right. So today uh, I am going to start using rental teams more because I have said this a million times. My greatest weakness as a player, besides overestimating certain things, not knowing my damage calcs, forgetting speed tiers, not recognizing items, and failing to read protosynthesis boosts, the sixth biggest weakness I have is I don't know how to use other people's teams because I haven't dissected them in and out. So we're going to be using rental teams a little bit more often on the channel. I want to use your rental teams. So if you guys could do me a favor um, on this video, if you have a rental team you'd like me to try out, go ahead and comment it down below. I uh, leave the pokey paste. It might block the link. So if if it doesn't show up, I'll, I'll fig if I get like no pokey paste, I'm just going to assume that like, you know, no one's able to comment that and I'll adjust the way that I take teams. But yeah, um, anyways, if you have a team, comment it down below. We'll try it out. Make sure it's a rental. We're not going to be using it on showdown. We're going to be using it on game. Uh, but we're going to be using this team from Scarlet Skill, who is one of uh, this Earth's finest chefs. He cooked hard with this team. So this team has the familiar core of Gyarados, Fluttermane, Chi Yu, and a fake Wo Chen, Amoongus. Um, but the interesting part is it's using Iron Thorns and Hippowdon. Now, the Hippowdon is a standard bulky Terra Grass Hippowdon with Sand Tomb, Body Press, Yawn, and Slack Off. But where the cooking starts happening is this Iron Thorns, which is Assault Vest, Rock Slide, Wild Charge, Terra Blast, and Heavy Slam. Keep in mind that as a Rock type, Iron Thorns does gain a special defense boost in the sand. Um, and with that Assault Vest, it becomes even bulkier. It basically is just Mecha Tyranitar at that point. So. Yeah, this format is definitely lacking in really good electric types, so we're going to go ahead and try to use this team. So if you enjoy this standpoint in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications, and let's start cooking. The rental code for this team is obviously at the top right. I don't have the pokey paste. It's all going to be vibes today, but we will, you know, examine. Well, I guess I have to examine it pre-match, but yeah, let's go ahead and hop on the ladder. My rank is still pretty low because we're still not in the next season. By the time this gets uploaded, we might be starting the next season. But yeah, let's go ahead and find some games. Oh yeah, look at that disgustingly low rank. Let's do this. So, um, where is it? It's not cookbook. What was it called? Am I being dumb? There it is. Let's try this out. And obviously pre-match, I'll be sure to check out the EV spreads before we lock in anything. Versus Victoria, rank 52-14. And this is a pretty interesting team. All right, let's 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 examine these really quick. 104 speed, that's pretty low investment on the Gyarados. Um, yeah, like no investment almost. Special defensive. Um, do I really have to like deselect this each time? I have to only check a few things. Let me check the Flutter main speed. 175. I believe that's faster than Garchomp. Um, nearly max defense. Chiyu. Very bulky, almost no speed whatsoever. So we'll keep that in mind. 136 is not a bad speed tier. And we'll check out Iron Thorns really quick before I lock in my team last second. Uh, it looks like we are just max HP, max attack, a little bit of special defense. Well, not max, obviously, but close. So versus this team, we have not much time left. It's extremely safe to lead off with something like, um, I mean, you know what? I don't really have a safe lead. I want to lead off Gyarados, but there is a Annihilate. So I suppose what I can do here is lead off with the Specs Fluttermane and the Chi Yu. We'll bring the Gyarados in the back. I think for my last Mon, I don't really see Thorns doing anything here, unfortunately. We're just going to go ahead and go with the Amoongus. So today, the first game is going to be a little boring. I'll admit it. Not the most exciting game, but we'll see what we can do. Hopefully, we'll uh, find a matchup where the Thorns can do something. Let me also lower my armrests on my gamer chair so I have better posture. Let me lower my camera, too, so I look taller. I'm only 5'8". You know, a lot of people... Oh, excuse the mess. I'm 
rearranging my recording room. Garchomp, the once well trained, Rotom. So, I mean, I'm glad I let off the way that I did. Um, what I can do is just sort of take this turn to play pretty neutral. I would imagine they're just going to like want to do Disquake stuff. And Garchomp doesn't really have anything for the... I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that Rotom. Uh, Garchomp doesn't really have anything for the Gyarados. And if I can one-shot that Gyarados, that'd be great. Or if I can one-shot that Rotom, that'd be great. But I don't know how I'd be able to do that um, without sacrificing Flutter. Then again, we are pretty defensive. Let's just go ahead and go for that straight-up Moonblast. And we'll protect the Chiyu here. What's our Terra on the Chiyu again? Let me just check. Hold on. Grass or water something. I'll, I'll, I'll double check before the next match. I already forgot. Remember how I listed all of my weaknesses as a player? Yeah, that's one of them. I, I forget things really easily. They protect the Garchomp. I'm about to commit war crimes against this Rotom. Unless it's Scarf, then I'm not. War crime! War crime! Yeah, no, he, he never stood a chance. Rest in peace. All right. So, you know, if there's no Annihilate coming out, I can actually safely swap in my Gyarados, get a nice little Intimidate off, and Moonblast the Garchomp. It might Terra. I don't really mind. The last thing I want to see is an Annihilate. Volcarona is actually on the list of things I don't want to see. So, I think what I'll do here is... We'll attempt a Moonblast on the Garchomp. I'm pretty sure we're just going to get Rage Powdered away, but it's not something that it wants to take. Um, and getting this Intimidate off will allow us to reposition our Fluttermane into a better spot. Also, we do have a lot of physical defense, um, from what I could tell by the EV spreads, you know, the cursory look we had at it. Uh, so that'll allow me to probably eat this hit fairly comfortably at minus one from the Garchomp. Unless it's Clear Amulet, then, you know, then we're not going to enjoy this. They may even be Terra Steel, but um, I think what they were going for there was probably a Protect and a Hydro Pump if they were Terra Steel to try to get rid of the Chiyu before uh, they locked into anything too scary or possibly even just scouting for a Scarf. There's the Clear Amulet. Okay. We're going to see the Terra. I'd almost prefer Steel over Ground at this point. Yep, there's the steel. Uh, this will still do a decent amount of damage if it doesn't get redirected. Um, and this does allow me to Thunder Wave this Garchomp as they protect. That is a bold move, unless they want to go for Iron Head, in which case that is a smart move. Should still do a decent amount, though. Yeah, like half. Earthquake, all right. It does a little over half to us. Okay, um, in this situation, I get a lot of value of getting a Moongus in. And that Thunder Wave is invaluable. It might get redirected, but, you know, we just have a higher chance of going for it the next turn. Obviously, now that it's a Steel type, we can go for this. I wish I was Safety Goggles Gyarados. That's my favorite set in this format. Just because Goggles Gyarados is able to do basically anything it wants, it, it feels like a hard check to 90% of balance teams. You know, I put out a tweet saying that Gyarados was slightly better than Palafin, and I was just absolutely dragged for that, dude. They were like, no, common Moxie boosted L, but look at the format now. Look at the format now. How am I always right? That's one thing I, I have. I have awful game sense. I have amazing observation of the metagame. You know, when Smeargle comes out and I say Smeargle's actually bad, they're not going to believe me. It's going to be really good, by the way. You can put Revival Blessing on it, and that's like really good. They go for Annihilate? Okay, well, I'm not switching anytime soon. They go for the Earthquake? Oh, they want to get this uh, Rage Fist boost. Okay. I don't mind that as long as I get this. That did too much for your Annihilate, bro. I mean, it crit me too. Are you... S no, you're not You're not Scope Lens. I was going to say, like, we saw the Clear Amulet. All right, don't miss or I'll cry. Thank you. That is amazing for me, in fact. Um, And I get a lot of value out of... 
paralyzing this Annihilate now because it would, because we're not a fast Chi Yu and outspeeding the Annihilate is actually fairly important. Let's go ahead and we'll Rage Powder here. Is there a point to Rage Powdering? Not really. Um, let's just Spore and Thunder Wave. We don't really lose anything from this play. It catches basically anything. Yeah, the reason I did both of those is because it's a funny little middle ground play, and if by some means they managed to get rid of my uh, Pokemon, I'd be very sad. And then I would at least get one status off. I'm also not really concerned with that, um, with that dude anymore. Uh, however, I will say that I still would like to prioritize Thunder Waving this Annihilate over anything. However, I, I get the feeling they might want to swap. Let's go ahead and protect. And I'm actually going to Thunder Wave the Volk, because they're more likely to swap the Annihilate here on that into, like, the Garchomp. Since Garchomp um, is going to be immune to both statuses. All right, they don't swap. Let's see what happens. Don't really mind a Rage Fist, to be honest, as they go for the Fiery Dance. Cool, nice little Thunder Wave is going to come out here. I'm probably not faster than this Annihilate unless they're the slowest Annihilate ever. Doesn't do half, so that's good. Get a Thunder Wave off on this guy. That's amazing. Um, and I think what I'm going to do here now is... I have to play to the Chi Yu endgame. I think, like, that's basically 100% necessary. And I think they want to protect this Annihilate now. So I'm actually going to go for a Pollen Puff into my Gyarados. And we're also going to Waterfall this Volcarona. Unless it's, like, Rocky Helmet, we should be fine. I do have a Mago Berry, so I'm going to get a lot of recovery out of this turn if I don't just get straight up knocked out somehow. Um, if they're Rocky Helmet, that's, like, bad, though. I, like Flame Body I can deal with, Rocky Helmet I cannot. All right, please knock me into Mago range. That'd be great. Nope, they're more concerned with the Amoongus. Silly Goose. Silly Goose Academy. All right, flinch and no burn. I demand both of these. We go for the Fiery Dance into the Amoongus. That's fine. Um, this thing is always going to be in Dazzling Gleam range now. So I don't really have a need to click anything else. Actually, as a matter of fact, I think I just win if I Dazzling Gleam and swap in my Flood or er, and swap in my Chi Yu. I don't think they have any counterplay to that at this point. Because yes, they can protect, but that Volcarona is 100% in range and it doesn't have recovery. I'm pretty sure I just clicked this to win. We can just simplify this, you know, just get it over with. I'm kind of beating around the bush at this point. And like I stated, uh, that Thunder Wave and that Garchomp is going to be huge because it's going to allow our um, Archie U to outspeed it. So I can just click like Heat Wave Dazzling Gleam now. And the only way we lose is if we like miss really, really hard. And it, it can't be just a normal miss. It's got to be a hard miss. Dazzling Gleam should knock it in range of um, Waterfall from the Gyarados though. Yeah, I mean, we did, like, that much to it before. Put this D-Gleam, and why not Heat Wave? Why not? I don't see any situation where this Annihilate survives this hit. We got Adaptability, Beads of Ruin, it's Stab, we have Choice Specs, Chi Yu is just busting it down. You know, we're good. Look at him go. He's doing his best. He exists and you win. That's how Chi Yu works. A little sip of my water. Chi Yu's too hot. Physically, you know, not, not the other one. That's a fish. That is a goldfish, sir. Nice. And yeah, that's 100% range of waterfall. So even if I like somehow miss this heat wave, we're good. 
All right, nice. Very clean game. Hopefully we can use this iron thorns. I really want to use the thorns. Okay. You know, I didn't ask a question of the day. Guys, what's your favorite Paradox format? What was that? Game? You okay? You guys see that? I don't know what that was. All right. Uh, question of the day. What's your favorite Paradox form that um, isn't used very much? Like, you know, Sandy Shocks, Iron Thorns, Iron Treads, any one of those. Okay, ooh, hold on. <laughs> this is an interesting Sun Team, bro. This this dude's int he thinks he's different, and he is. Um, okay, how can I like beat this 99% of the time? I think I get a lot of value out of the thorns here. Yeah, rock slide's like really solid in this team. They have literally no rock slide. Why do they have like no iron thorns answers? Hold on. Yeah, let's get off with this. I can Terra Grass, and we can lead off Hippowdon as well. And that helps out quite a bit. Or we can bring Hippowdon in the back, and that's, like, super helpful. Um, and I think for my last Mon, just Scar- or Specs Flutter is perfectly fine. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, I think Hippowdon's actually a really slept-on Pokemon right now. I I've used it on a few teams, mostly stall teams, but uh, even on, like, non-stall teams, Hippowdon's just super solid for the fact that it- um, it's just like a decent ground type, um, and Sandstream just allows you to reset weather, you know, from sun, which is arguably one of the best weathers, but rain is on the come up right now. All right. Hopefully you're not amulet. Look at him. Oh, I didn't realize he'd be shiny. Wait, that's crazy. He's, oh, he's, he's literally the best, bro. He's literally the best. How can he be the goat so often? All right. I'm going to immediately Terra Grass. I don't think I'm going to have to take an Acrobatics, to be honest. I'm not concerned with that. Um, let's go ahead and... I'm going to Protect here. Because... Actually, if anything switches, Gyarados would switch second. So I don't mind just switching it out now. Is there a point? I don't think there's a point. Let's just Protect. Because they're going to Terra. Please be Terra flying. I don't think you should Terra flying personally. But please just do it. Terra Ooh. Well, actually, that's not the end of the world. We do have Terra Blast. We do have Terra Blast. The only question is if they have Acrobatics or not. And I think on a Terra Ground set, you'd probably still have Protect, possibly Dragon Dance. So I think that they don't have a flying move. It's going to be my bold little prediction here. But I'm about to click the world's strongest Terra Blast. Probably not the world's strongest, but pretty close. It's an Iron Thorns. He's got a high attack stat. What was it, like 134? Guys, I'm in trouble. Guys, I don't want to be here anymore. I I don't I don't want to be here anymore. I don't like this. Luckily, we'll eat the Earthquake just fine. Oh, he's rock sliding? Can you, like, just... Just don't... Just, just don't. Don't. All right. Uh, this Terra Blast is about to save my life, bro. This Terra Blast is going to be game changing. Terra Blast. Look, buddy. Look, buddy. Hippodon's coming in. I already know he's going to go for that attack boost. Luckily, Jump Bluff su should switch first. Torkoal's going to hit the field first. So, uh, hello, Terra Ground Hat. Uh, we should be fine, is my point, broadly. They didn't switch first. Okay, that's fine. I don't think they're going to protect here. They can't Rage Powder me away. They can't Sleep Powder anything, really. They might Sleep Powder the Pout on, but that's, like, whatever. As long as I get this Terra Blast off, I'm, I'm solid, bro. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. What if I get Acrobatics right now? I'd be so sad. I'd be so sad if I get Acrobatics right now, which they might, because now I think that they might actually have it. Rock Slide, don't. Don't. There we go. All right. Threat neutralized. Good job. Thank you, Terra. Uh, Terra Grass, Iron Iron Thorns. You're the best.
Unfortunately, I'm going to take some damage now. But Jump Bluff is a few turns away from going down. So am I, though. I, I'm i a little concerned for the existence of Fluttermane. If theirs is faster and they have Tailwind, I'm not in the best position. I also probably don't eat the hit now. That is Fluttermane. Yeah, I know that. All right. Um... I think here it's in my best interest to attempt a heavy slam and just probably acknowledge that it's not going to go well. And we can try to sand him. Come on, just live the hit. They can't Terra, but if they get in that Torkoal, it's, it's not going to be pretty. I can take a Dazzling Gleam, I can tell you that much. All right, all right, just don't Moonblast me, bro. Just Dazzling Gleam, be silly. Be a silly, goofy little flutter, man. Oh, we're just faster? Were they going to Trick Room? Does this thing, this thing does not get Trick Room. I'm Googling it. Hold on. There's no chance. That's like the only move that makes sense, right? Hold on. Hold on. Flutter main. There's a Torkoal in the back. The evidence is right here. <laughs> it gets Trick Room, guys. You, the evidence is undeniable. I was about to get counterswept if I played defensively at all. We love open team sheet. All right. Um, obviously, Hippowdon is a super nice asset here. I'm just going to go for the Rock Slide. Um, and I get a lot more value out of swapping in Gyarados here and then bringing Hippowdon back out in a turn to get rid of the Sun. Pretty sure I just win based off of getting this Rock Slide off, but, you know, never be too safe. There's the Tailwind. I'm going to get out Sped now, but it should be fine. Oh, I'm not. It's just... They do not have speed at all. Because I don't have any speed, but Torkoal can comfortably outspeed a, a, an Iron Thorns if it has any investment. Goodbye, Mr. Thorns. Goodbye, Mr. Thorns. You know, you did, you did your best. He did his darnest. It's such a cool Pokemon, man. Heavily underrated. All right, let's get him Mr. Flutter. And we should be good. Nice little special attack boost. Glad I know that that's a thing now. I did not check. There's not really a reason to switch. Let's just taunt ourselves. Sure, this will KO. All right. Two pretty solid games there. Honestly, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. A uh, little bit of a shorter video. Next next one or two videos are going to be kind of short. I, I try to I try to hit 30 minutes, which is around three battles. But, uh, you know, I have a lot going on this week. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut it off here. You know, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Um, and yeah, I, I am going to try to get that write up for my team on Patreon tonight. Uh, so that's what I'm going to spend the time doing. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe, do whatever. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.